In 1955, a board of survey recommended closing the southern section of the Stratford-upon-Avon Canal. Public protests started a massive campaign and in 1960 restoration work began. In just four years the canal was restored and reopened by the then Queen Mother. We have really enjoyed our sojourn along the Stratford-upon-Avon Canal but are really concerned that the lack of funding has meant it's getting very creaky and in need of much repair. Join us now as we end our journey in Stratford-upon-Avon. Well, we've just left the village of Wilmcut about a mile back and going through the first of 11 locks today. And it's Saturday afternoon and uh, it's around about two o'clock and we never start cruising this late in the day. But uh, it's been peeing down all morning and we need to get moving because the water tank's empty almost and uh, it's 11 locks away so we might end up doing 12 depending on if there's any suitable moorings near where the water point is so yeah fab did you show them my plums no i didn't show them your plums top half bonus the most delicious golden plums in the world and they're not getting cooked just eat them present. Thank you. The weather appears to have turned a little inclement. This is the penultimate lock, number 10 of the day. And uh, a brief cessation of rain. Blue skies behind us. Fans clattering and banging in. These locks are really in need of some repair. Had enough yet? They're horrible, these locks. They just go like that. No, I know. <laughs> no, I'm all right. <laughs> Guess what the first thing you see and smell is as you're entering Stratford-upon-Avon? Well, we did our 11 lux, nothing goes to plan. There wasn't anywhere to moor after we filled up the tank with water. So we're having to do another five lux, but there you go. It's now about six o'clock in the evening and uh, we're ready to moor up and I think we're going to go for a bag of chips for dinner. So it's not all bad, is it? These locks need some serious maintenance. Most of the gates just will not stay shut or will not open fully. So uh, it is a worrying aspect about canal life is the deterioration of the network what to do. Last luck of the day, we're a beautiful one. Stunning perennials, beautiful. What are you doing, Fran? <laughs> I'm getting tangled up. I'm making a, another warp and um, 175 threads wound up and down all over. How long's that taken? Well, we did go out in the middle, but it's probably taken two hours, I reckon, to do that. But there's six, it's going to be six metres long, so it'll be enough to do quite a few bits of weaving. But I've had enough now. I might get a scarf out of this one. Would you like one? Those colours? Yeah, Is like that your that. colours? Yeah. Oh, we'll see what I can do then. <laughs> It'll cost you. I think I've had a few funny looks from people passing the boat today that yeah, don't I'm know sure. what this woman is doing in the window, but there you go. <laughs>
Well, it's a typical bank holiday Sunday in the UK and just <laughs> typical of us to arrive in one of the most popular tourist destinations on a bank holiday weekend. But we didn't even realise it was bank holiday, did we? No, we didn't. <laughs> That's a boat life for you and you don't know what's going on in the rest of the world. And also, we didn't even mean to be here on a weekend. No. But Anyway, we are here. Over there, where all the shops are and all the concessions and the food stalls and everything it is hell on legs there's a one-way system to walk <laughs> because of the people and the dogs everywhere it's so busy so we've come to the quieter side have a walk along the uh, parkland here and uh, we'll go back in the town and do a bit of stuff um, but at first I think I'm gonna have an ice cream yeah good idea I actually idea. came out f very early this morning to walk the dogs and the atmosphere was Fabulous. They were setting up the market. And the sun was shining. The sun was shining. The church bells were ringing. I didn't have a camera with me, so I didn't film anything. It was beautiful. And you did say that as soon as everybody arrives, it's going to be different. And it is completely different it atmosphere is, now. Uh, really busy. Living hell. So, <laughs> <laughs> am I getting old and it, am I getting grumpy? No, it, has got a, it has got a really good atmosphere. I can imagine as a tourist coming in, it's a fabulous atmosphere. But there's music everywhere and food smells everywhere and um, yeah. <laughs> Let's go and see if we can find some culture. And ice cream. Agriculture. Agriculture. <laughs> so I've threaded the, each thread and across so that I can separate them off one at a time. The next one is always on top, you can see. Yeah, it's difficult. So each thread then has to get threaded through one of these and tied up again so that they don't fall out. Then we turn the whole thing round and each thread then gets threaded through one of those heddles. The first stage of threading the loom took me about three quarters of an hour, which I thought was pretty quick actually. And now I've got to thread each of my 175 threads through the other end of the loom, alternating with these little eyes, with my little tool through there. And it's quite painstaking, and I have to make sure I don't cross threads, otherwise it's a bit of a disaster. And these lovely colours, the yellow and green we bought while we were in Scotland, and that is pure Scottish lamb's wool, and the darker thread, we were really lucky to get hold of cones and cones of this beautiful pure wool, again from Scotland, and it was a viewer that sent them to us. I've got loads of them, um, and the colours are just gorgeous, all earthy tones, and it's just opened up a whole new world of weaving. So, I've got so much wool. And who was the viewer that sent it? It's William. Thank you, William, for sending that through to us. It was so much appreciated. Um, we've actually still got some left at relatives houses where it was sent to because I couldn't bring it all on the boat But um, yeah, it was fantastic wool. This is actually my favorite bit of making the warp You begin to see the colors coming out and what it's going to look like and Each one has had to now be pulled through and tied onto the beam at the end And I've still got you must make sure you haven't got any loose threads So I've got to keep going through making sure it's all really tight then the whole six meters have to get wound onto the bottom um, and that's when my limbo activities come into action because i've got to get down and under and turn but it's all worth it you can buy these warps ready made but they're really quite expensive and it's not only that i've got complete control over what colors i put into the warp like this and i can be quite creative about it so i've just calculated i think that's been four hours from start to finish. Hopefully I've got no crossed threads and it will be ready to go. Um, and all these little ends that I trim off the end of the warp, because it's good quality pure wool, I can't waste it. And this is the stuff that all gets cut into strips. It goes through a separate process to turn into more wool, or art yarn, to put into the weaving, because I just won't waste anything. But yeah, four hours of bending and stretching who needs yoga? So this is where we moored up last night. 
last mooring in the town. The basin was full and all the moorings behind us were full so we were pretty lucky there. So yeah, it's a vibrant, noisy Stratford-on-Avon. So we'll be here just for a couple of nights before moving on down to the river. I wonder what young Shakespeare would have made staring out of his bedroom window at ye olde Christmas shop open all year round across the street. We walked up to Holy Trinity Church where Shakespeare is buried but unfortunately they closed the gates as we approached. It would have been nice for me to revisit the church where my daughter was married 12 years ago. Sadly no longer married. Well, hell or high water ain't going to make us stay another day in this tourist trap. The lure of the river is way too strong. Join us next time as we cruise down on the River Avon. And if you've enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Share it with your friends. And if you check out the description, there are many ways you can help support the channel. See you next time.